Thank you for joining me. This is Fly by Mavic, and this is John Hatch video guide number 10. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a more permanent form of FCC mod to the Mini 2. This also covers the Air 2, the Air 2S, and the DJI FPV quad. It doesn't cover the Mini, and it doesn't cover the original Air. For that, you will still need to use the John Hatch companion tool. Now, why is this different? Well, instead of using the app where out in the field you have to launch the app and then you know, click it, etc., uh, the mod is actually stored on the drone itself, which means two things. First of all, you don't need an internet connection. And secondly, you can use it on both Android phone, iOS, and the smart controller as well. The hack's quite easy to do, and you will need to apply the hack every time you start the quad. What I'll do is I'll now show you how to do it. If you're not familiar with drone hacks itself, uh, I'll put a link down below to video number one that shows you how to download it, install it, and register your license. If you aren't sure how to connect the Mini 2 to the Drone Hacks tool, uh, I'll show you now. There's actually a set of instructions here on trying to connect to Mavic Mini, uh, shows you how to do it. What you need to do is to take your quad and power it on, and you're listening for the chimes. There you go. As soon as it chimes, plug in your lead, and then put your quad down. And Drone Hacks should recognise it and allow you to connect to it. If this is your first time running drone hacks, you will need to enter your email address and your password. That's the same one you used when you uh, applied for your license. As you can see now, drone hacks has logged in successfully and device is connected. So what we need to do now is go over to the hacks flash firmware tab. And you'll now see there's an FCC mode available for the quad. Now there are three stages to this. I'm going to take you through them one by one. First thing we need to do is make sure FCC mode is ticked. You'll also notice there's a stock mode, so you can remove the FCC hack as well. And we're just going to click on Apply. The Drone Hacks tool now presents you with a list of instructions. We're going to disconnect the USB. We're going to power off the drone. We're going to power on the drone again, connect the USB again, and then click the OK button immediately after the cable is connected. Unplug the USB and power off. Power back on again. Wait for the chimes. Plug in the lead and then click OK. OK, so to follow the instructions, we are going to unplug the USB lead and we're going to power off the quad, like so. Okay, so now the third part of the hack. What we're going to do is we have powered off the drone and we've removed the USB cable as requested. We're going to power on the drone. We're now going to wait for it to start up. Once the quad starts up and stabilizes and you have the flashing yellow light at the back, we're going to hold this button for two seconds. One, two. You're going to hear a beep. And then another beep. We're then going to hold the button again for two seconds. One, two. Going to be some more beeps. And then we're looking for the front light to start turning red. There we go. It's now flashing red. Flashing red means that the hack has now been activated. And this Mini 2 is now in FCC mode. If you are flying the Air 2S, the Air 2 and the DJ FPV Racer, you won't be using this button, uh, it will just automatically go back into FCC mode. Unfortunately, we can't get the Mavic Mini 2 uh, to be uh, sort of permanent where you don't need to keep sort of doing this procedure. Um, the only downside slightly is that every time you power the quad on, you will have to do this two button press again to put it back into FCC mode. But you don't need an internet connection. That's why it's a more permanent form of offline hack. Okay, so last small and final note on this. Um, please remember, that if you remove the FCC hack or you remove the 15 meter limit hack, then it will remove both the hacks. So it's very important to remember that if you remove one hack, it removes both hacks. If you do want to remove it, of course, you can use the stop mode, uh, but just remember removing one hack does remove both the hacks. So that's it, John Hacks Guide number 11, how to enable a more permanent form of FCC on the Mini 2, the Air 2, the Air 2S and the DJI FPV Racer. If you do not want a permanent form, then please do continue using the Companions app. Thank you for watching this video.